What's going on guys? Welcome to Fishing POV. Today I want to talk to you guys about rod maintenance. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so what I like to do, I like to do this maybe two, three times a year. Um, usually in the in the spring or in the winter months when uh, fishing is pretty much done for us because everything freezes over up here um, in northeast Illinois. Um, and then I'll do it midsummer and then, you know, kind of early fall. So that way um, everything stays nice and clean, especially one of the biggest things that you want to keep clean on your fishing rod is the, the guides. Um, the eyes here where the line goes through um, the biggest problem is is it starts building up scum from the water and stuff like that and especially if you're using braid it's really fading that braid a lot quicker um, than it than it would normally with clean eyes you'll get a lot more life out of your braid and other lines if you keep the eyes clean that's the biggest thing that you want to keep clean on your rods throughout the season now of course you want to clean the real seat and stuff like that i mean if you're already there cleaning the eyes you might as well just take the extra few minutes and clean the entire thing so what i do is i start off with a, just a little bit of water and a toothbrush around the seat and just get in there um, i will bring it all the way up to make sure I get a nice good cleaning on it um, this is a little hot water that's all it is now you can add like um, some dish soap or something like that I mean you want to be careful using solvents and stuff like that I have used alcohol on here but only for really tough like isopropyl alcohol only for really tough things that I can't get out Then bring it all the way down as far as it'll go and clean that top portion. Get yourself a towel or something to kind of wipe it off. Now another thing I like to do is I like to use the uh, Ardent Real Guard. Um, this is also good for your rods and stuff like that. It's mostly a corrosion preventative type thing. It wor works really well with saltwater stuff. But you know what? <clears throat> this stuff is fairly cheap. So if you can find it in some local stores or maybe online, get some of this stuff. And it really helps just protect it. So I kind of spray it down everything that I just cleaned. You don't want to get this stuff in your eyes or anything like that. Be careful. I let it sit just for a minute. Um, they say not to wipe it off, but I do kind of pat it down, pat it dry basically. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Like I said, this is not just for use for your reels, but it's for use for your rods as well. <clears throat> So let's get to cleaning those eyes. I'm gonna use a little isopropyl alcohol to clean the eyes. Just cause like I said, those things get gummed up really bad. So we got isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. All right, so start off with this first eye. Clean all around it. Make sure you're getting everything off there. It looks nice and clean, especially inside where the line goes. Top and bottom. Make sure it's squeaky clean. Then you dry it off. And you move down to the next ones.
Then you wipe off any um, isopropyl alcohol. Um, the stuff evaporates, but if you wipe it off, it's not getting on your rod and ruining the finish of your rod or anything like that. Um, as long as you get it off fairly quick, you should be all right. And then I take a little bit of this spray it in here like that and I basically coat the rod with it. All right guys, and there you have it. You got yourself a nice clean rod, whether it be mid season, um, early season, or late season or whatever. Um, like I said, uh, this is basically two tips in one. It's how to clean your rods and how to uh, maintenance those rods throughout the season to help um, keep your braid from fading as much and breaking down in all your fishing lines basically. But it'll really break braid down if those eyes are gummed up. So that's my tip for today, guys. Um, thanks for stopping by Fishing POV. Don't forget to check out the links at the end of the videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, fish on.